Alright everyone, Scott with the Scott Man. We're here to do a driving video today. We're going to be heading west on I-496. We're in the Lansing area right now and technically this is a refilming of it because I have another video on this that I did back, I think it was 2015 and it was well before I even had a GoPro so the quality would have been quite terrible. So I figure, I don't know why I haven't refilled this until now, but better late than never. So we are now entering the city limits for Lansing, and right now, for the next couple miles or so, we're gonna be running concurrently, concurrently with Highway 127. As a matter of fact, I think earlier this year, or if not, maybe last year, I filmed a video on 127 North going through the Lansing and East Lansing area as I head north up toward the St. John's area, going through the central part of the state. Yeah, it's a pretty nice morning out, although there's a little, little bit more clouds in the Lansing area. But it's a little chilly out right now, but not too, it's not really unseasonably cool or anything. If my current thermometer is reading like 38 degrees Fahrenheit. If you convert that to Celsius, it's close to maybe three degrees, so. We're starting to get to that time of the year where we've, we'll be seeing some freezing temperatures. Although we have not gone below freezing yet down in the southern part of the state. We could tonight though, or at least in some areas. So right now we're technically on the border of Lansing and East Lansing. Michigan State University, which yeah, the exit for that is coming up here momentarily. But yeah, I 496 is not a very long freeway, so this is going to be one of my shorter drive videos. So yeah, I 496 goes into downtown Lansing, where I 96 goes around the, pretty much goes around the downtown area because it stays to the south and the west of the city. I do need to get over because this is going to be branching off of 127 shortly. And yeah, the exit over here for Trowbridge Road, that will take you right into the campus of Michigan State University. And yep, yeah, so right here, if you take the right the right fork that continues to 127 north up toward Claire and Mount Pleasant, where staying to the left, this is the continuation of I-496. And now we're gonna be going due west for the remainder of the video. Yeah, that exit for Trowbridge Road, a lot of people probably were using that yesterday. Just because, yeah, yesterday was the Michigan-Michigan State football game, and yeah, it was not even close with that one. Like Michigan like routed the Spartans like 49 nothing. Like I don't think I don't think Michigan State had had lost that bad to Michigan in my lifetime. So I know Michigan State's been having a lot of problems with their team right now, and, and Michigan's playing probably their best football. Like the past year or two, they've been playing their best football since the Lloyd Carr days. So we're now starting to get into the downtown Lansing area. And they got, or they've been doing a lot of road work in here in the past couple years. So because of that, they got like a lot of exits closed, like especially like ones that go right into downtown. So yeah, this exit here, yeah, for Grand Avenue, this is normally what you would take if you want to go to downtown Lansing, but fortunately there are other streets you can, or other exits you can take to go into downtown. But yeah, you can see downtown over to the right, and you can see just a tad of the Michigan State Capitol building. Because yeah, Lansing is the state capital of Michigan, which 
Which, yeah, that reminds me, too. I need to film a new video in Lansing at some point, too, because the one I have is, like, over, is, I think it's a decade old. And it needs to be updated. I don't know if we'll get to that this year, or if not, or if not this year, probably next year or something. But you can, you can tell they've done a lot of work already, just because yeah, everything is has very nice surface to it now. And yeah, this exit here for M99 is also closed. Which M99, that'll take you south down toward Eden Rapids. But yeah, I will say, they're doing a lot of road work in the Lansing area right now. I think every freeway has some sort of construction project. 496 is under construction, as you can see. They're doing some construction on I-96 to the south of the city. And I think they're doing stuff up, up on I-69 as well, too, north of the city. And maybe even some stuff on 127 east of the city. So it's like, it's almost unavoidable here in Lansing right now. Although, to be fair, at I-96, all lanes are open. But yeah, it is looking a lot nicer, though. Yeah, currently, I'm up on my way out to the west side of the state. I'm going north of Grand Rapids up to the Nuego area. I haven't been over to that part of Michigan yet. Well, I think I have maybe once, but just driven through it, so I finally get a chance to check it out. And today is a perfect day for it because there's gonna be there's a ton of fall color out. It's like there's a lot of clouds here in the Lansing area, but I'm seeing clearing out to the west going out toward Grand Rapids, so I should get lucky. And yeah, here's the end of the road work, and yeah, I think they were doing this either earlier this year or last year because yeah, they got brand new pavement over here, so this is really nice. And we're now getting out of the Lansing area, or the city limits of Lansing. We're now in Delta Township, and we are now in Eden County. But yeah, what's cool about Lansing is that it, Lansing is in three counties. Well, in terms of the metro area, because it's in, it's mostly in Ingham County, but there's a little bit of the area, uh, metro area that goes into Eden County, and then a little bit into Clinton County to the north.